Hey guys, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In this video, I'll be building an Atlas V to send the Perseverance rover to Duna. Um, starting out in the vehicle assembly building, we have the FLTOXL tank, which is the upper stage to push the Perseverance rover um, to Duna, and then a Kerbidine adapter that's flipped upside down so it flips it back to Rakamak sized tanks. Then one of the like mid sized uh, Rakadine tank or Rocco Max tanks, and then two of the full-size orange Rocco Max tanks with four solid rocket boosters on the side. Those are four kickback solid rocket boosters. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show the full build time lapse of the rover because the video, the video that I recorded of the rover being built, unfortunately got corrupted and didn't work properly. But here we are. Lighting up the two vector engines on the lower stage first, and the four kickback solid rocket boosters. Uh, this vehicle has a relatively decent amount of thrust, and the throttle was only at about one fourth of what it could have been with the two vector engines. Um, so it all worked out pretty well. Um, here we are for SRV separation. Now, I was going to. A few videos ago, I landed a Saturn V on Minmus, a complete Saturn V. If you haven't seen that video already, make sure to go check that out. Um, but I launched an entire Saturn V to Minmus, and when I reloaded it, uh, after I had it refueled, um, it disintegrated. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to continue that series, which is kind of unfortunate. But, uh, lower stage separation there, this is so... I just decided to build an Atlas V with the Perseverance rover. It sounded kind of cool, and the Atlas V looks—it looks like a—it looks like a super cool rocket. The Perseverance rover is really cool. Um, the Ingenuity helicopter that I built was very, very tiny, um, and I'm also gonna super speed through these orbital maneuvers here because orbital maneuvers are very boring and take forever in the Space Program. So, getting the proper inclination to get a encounter with Duna, and then I think a few seconds here, yep, we reached a Duna encounter, so now we can just go time warp over to Duna, I think I had to, yeah, I had to do a correction burn to get close to the planet, and then, uh, making the correction burn here now, Periapsis lined up on Duna, and we can cut to landing of the vehicle. Um, I was I was really happy with how this fairing came out. Um, I thought it looked a lot like the real Perseverance rover. Instead of just deploying the fairing, the heat shield dropped out from underneath. Uh, drug shoot deploys first. Not technically realistic to the actual mission. I don't think. I think they only have one parachute. I could be wrong, but. I tried this so many times without a drill parachute, and it just would not happen. Uh, main chute would not deploy in time for the before the vehicle collided with the surface, because it would still be going about 400 meters a second. Then it would just collide with the surface. So now I'm getting ready. Drop out the heat shield. Yep, jettison the heat shield. Heat shield falls down pretty slow, right? Because it's got a lot of drag. Um, and then we can get ready to drop the rover out of the fairing. So, I think I decoupled it here in a few seconds. Yep, just a couple. It kind of gets stuck in the fairing for a little bit, but then it ends up kind of just falling out on its own. The fairing stays up there with its own parachute. And over begins its descent. Firing up the four vernier engines, doing a little bit of extension with the piston so that uh, the engines don't clip into the side and destroy anything. Um, and then getting ready for a powered landing. Um, I don't know why this vehicle is falling so slow. Like, it was falling crazy slow for barely any drag on there. The engines fire up. I click action group 2 to start ex extending the uh, rover down, and then just before it touches down, I decouple, and then the main upper stage just kind of flies away. Very slow ascent rate, but that's fine, it doesn't matter. And then we can bring the Perseverance rover 
down to the bottom of the hill very quickly so that we can deploy the ingenuity helicopter when it's at a flat surface. So we have to bring it down the hill just super quick. So I just release the brakes and kind of let it roll down the hill. Uh, I had to set the control point to the main vehicle, but then I can just roll it down the hill. So this is uh, sped up because it took a long time to, like a long time to do this properly. Version um, Rovers. I didn't want to go too fast because the back wheels were picking up and there's also a lot of weight on the back. So I was afraid that if I was going too fast and then tried to brake, that uh, the vehicle would flip forward and then I wouldn't be able to get it back up. So now we are going down the hill as fast as we possibly can. Um, I use the Mystery Goo tank, tank as like the uh, eyes, or the, not eyes, but like the camera for the Perseverance Rover. I thought it looked pretty good. And then the back is just a, like a science module with two RTGs in the back. And that's how I deploy Perseverance. I use the piston to just kind of extend it out, and then I could retract the piston. And then I did a little hop with the Perseverance, or with the Ingenuity, because I didn't really know how it worked yet. And then, now I can, now I, I kind of understood how it flew, so I kind of gave it a nice fly around. It flies really well for flying on Duna, which has like virtually no atmosphere. It flies incredibly well. And I'm now just bringing it over to... Basically, I'm controlling throttle by controlling the pitch on the propeller blades. If the pitch is at about 7 degrees, then they'll fly properly, but if I lower or raise the pitch, then it won't generate any thrust. So I flew the Ingenuity helicopter over to this little red rock, and I was like, oh, that might be a cool thing for the Perseverance rover to check out. So then I flew the Ingenuity back to the Perseverance rover once I was done kind of looking at the gigantic red rock, and then just flew it back towards the Perseverance rover. So now I'm just going full power at the Perseverance rover. This, this helicopter is pretty fast. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I couldn't get the gold plating onto it because the uh, smallest structural panels in the game, the T6-0, uh, were a bit too big for the rover, or to fit, like, with the fairing in the rover. What? To fit in the fairing with the rover. There we go. I can speak English. Uh, now I'm using the little scanning arm that I put on the Perseverance rover to examine the rock, and it turned out that it was just a meteorite that had crashed onto Duna, which is pretty cool. Tracking that arm. I really like how they did that arm. I think it looks really good. Uh, but anyways, that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.